Hi students! Um, this vocabulary video is going to match, to go along with the homonym worksheet that is included in your week one distance practice packet. If you don't have our distance practice homework, you can find the PDF of this worksheet in the link in the information under the video. Feel free to click, download, um, follow along in your notebook. You don't need the worksheet in your physical hand to be able to get the benefit from this video. So our topic for this video and this worksheet is homonyms. Um, my, my recommendation is that you get something sweet to eat. Um, I've got my coffee here. You get some chocolate. You get something sweet to give you some energy because this is going to be a little bit rough. But we can do it. Okay? So there's three different vocabulary words that you will hear when people talk about homonym and they are slightly different. I don't expect you to go home and to, to go home. I don't expect you to be at home and memorize these three different types. Nobody will ever stop you in the street and ask you, these two words, are they a homophone, a homonym, or a homograph? Nobody will ever ask you to identify this, but I do want you to recognize that there are three different types um, because they are very different in how we must study them. Um, when we use this phrase homophone, a homophone has the same sound but different spelling and different meaning. And you will see across all three of them have different meaning listed. An example of a homophone, and think about this prefix of hama, homo, means same. This root of phone means sound. So this word homophone means same sound. A good example for homophone are two, two, and two. Identical sound, different spelling, different meaning. Two, two, two. Homonym, this piece nim means word. We see this also in synonym and antonym. Again, the prefix of hama or homo means same, same word. These have the same sound and the same spelling, but again, a different meaning. So where homophone has different spelling, homonym has the same spelling and the same sound. Think about something like fall, I fall down, and fall, the season, in the fall, autumn. In the fall, the leaves will fall. Two words fall, the same sound, the same spelling, different meaning. This last word for us to talk about is homograph. This piece graph means picture, Hama, homo, again meaning same. These have the same spelling, the same writing, the same image. Different sound though, different pronunciation. And these are the most difficult in my opinion because you cannot tell them apart. With a homophone, the spelling can distinguish. You can easily identify because of the spelling. With homograph, they are the same spelling. So you cannot easily identify the difference. For example, we have the word lead as a verb, which means make a line and somebody follows behind. I lead my daughter through the grocery store. A president will lead the country. 
as a noun, when we talk about the chemical on the periodic table, I say lead. Lead. This metal has lead inside of it. Lead, lead. Lead, lead. Same spelling. I'm so sorry, they have different pronunciations to match the different meanings. These are the hardest, the homographs, and these are the ones that we will put the most focus on in the future of practicing English videos. Um, the worksheet that you have in your packet, this is the very last practice in your week one distance English packet. Um, the first section of the worksheet is practicing homonym, where they have the same sound, the same spelling, but different meanings. And these are, I think, the easiest because you don't have to spell differently. You don't have to pronounce differently. You just have to remember that this word has different meanings. Um, the first example is using the word watch. Watch can be a small clock on your wrist, a wrist watch. Watch can also be look, watch a movie. The kids are going to watch TV tonight. What time is it? I have to set my watch. Definitely this first watch, watch TV, look at. I have to set my watch, the small clock. The next word of page. Page can be one sheet of paper. Now we don't really have this device anymore, but we used to have an electronic device called a pager before cell phones. Um, and this pager device would hook on your, your pocket and somebody would send a message to this pager and it would shake or vibrate to say, you have a message. And it would tell you the phone number so you can call back. Who still uses a pager in 2020? Doctors, clinics, um, they will page the nurse. They will page the nurse meaning call her on a pager, call him on a pager. Which page is the homework on? Sheet of paper. Please page the doctor if you need help. Call. Number three has the word play. Play can be do a sport. Play basketball, play football, play volleyball. Play is also the name of a theater performance. Um, an opera could be called a play. Theater can be called a play. Shakespeare wrote a lot of plays. Let's play soccer after school. Participate in a sport. The author wrote a new play. Theater piece. Bit can be a tiny amount. Bit can be the past of bite. Ouch, the mosquito bit me. Past of bite. I'll have a little bit of sugar in my tea. A small amount. The last example that they give for us is the word pen. Pen, of course, can be an instrument for writing that uses ink. Pen can also be the name of the cage of the area where small animals live, especially rabbits, pigs, goat, sheep, um, in your farm, on your farm. Uh, we also have a bed for small children that we call a play pen, a play pen, an enclosed area. My rabbits are in a pen outside. Definitely be the enclosed area. Please sign this form with a black pen, a writing instrument which uses ink. I hope you agree that these first, this first practice with homonyms, these are the easiest um, to understand because they are the same pronunciation and the same spelling, just a different meaning. The second section, 
the second section of the worksheet is the hardest part of the worksheet. And these are the homographs, where you have a different sound, a different pronunciation. Same spelling, different meaning. The reason I think these are so hard is because you need to hear the word to find the difference. If I just read them, I could be reading them in my mind incorrectly because I'm pronouncing them incorrectly. So, for example, at the top here we have the word wind. The wind is blowing hard, moving air. It sounds the same as pinned, wind. The wind is blowing hard. I have to wind my clock, which means turn in a circular motion. They use the word stem, but I can use wind for other things. Turn the stem, and this has the same sound as find. Wind a clock. Wind a clock. Number one has the word bow and the word bow. Bow, bow. The singer made a low bow to the audience. Bow. Bend at the waist. The same sound as how. A bow. Please bow to your partner. Maria placed a red bow. O, oh, bow, on the birthday gift. The same sound as so. Bow, bow. Number two, all the students are present today. Present, here. The same sound as pleasant, pleasant, present. All the students are present today. Present, 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 present. I shift the emphasis. Present, emphasis at the beginning, present, present, emphasis on the, on the second. The boss will present the award at 10 a.m. Give, present. Please close the door, close, close. You have the sound of Z, close. Please close the door, shut. The same sound as toes, toes, the sound of Z. The boy sat close to his uncle, close, near, close, 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 close. Up at the beginning, we had the word wind. Wind a clock. I can take a rope and turn the rope around and I wind the rope. In the past, I wound, ound, ound. I wound the rope. The rope was wound around his ankles. These two have a same sound. Wound, around. The sound of pound. Pound. Wound, around, pound. The soldier received a wound. Ooh, 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 ooh. The same sound as moo, ooh, 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 moon. The soldier received a wound in the battle. The soldier received a wound in the battle. And then this last one for number five. Um, we have the word live and we have the word live. Live, live. I don't know if I will live or die. Here live is the verb to have life. The same sound as give, live, live. When we use this as an adjective, we say live, a live performance a live um, video, a live 
online English class. Last night I saw the band play live in concert. Real time performance. Live live. Um, I'm going to stop the video here. I am not going to, to do a full explanation for these last three sections that are the homophone because I do think these are the easiest for us. I do think these are the easiest for us. Um, check your answers in the distance education packet. Leave me any questions down below. Um, if you do want me to make a second video explaining these um, 20 practice questions for the homophones, also let me know by sending a WhatsApp message, um, a message on Facebook, uh, or leave a comment below this video and I can put together a second homonym video to help better understand these homophones. Oh, how are you feeling? I hope you're feeling okay. Homophone, homonym, homograph. Homograph is the most difficult because these have the same, um, the same writing, but they are pronounced differently. Oh, let me know in the comments again, how do you feel about these? Do you have any other examples that you would like to expand upon? Um, this video, I am limited just to this worksheet for our distance English classroom, um, but I would be very happy to make more homonym, homophone, homograph video explanations in the future. Um, the most important part, again, is those differences in the sound, differences in the pronunciation. Um, because I wind a clock, I don't wind a clock, but I feel the wind on my cheek. She is giving a live speech, not a live speech. Um, the same spelling, but a different sound connected to the different meaning. <sighs> All right, students, I hope you had some chocolate. I hope you're feeling okay. Um, until next time, bye.